Here's something in the, in the Colt single action army uh, revolvers. It spells out Colt. There's four clicks. C O L T. Now we're at full cock ready to fire. Did Colt do that on purpose? <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, if you like the videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like it if you, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll keep making videos. Um, this is the Colt New Frontier. In 1873, Colt came out with a single action army. It was the gun that was used in the cavalry, uh, that seven and a half inch barrel, and it's probably used by every cowboy, uh, bad guy, villain, sheriff, good guy, hero, in every Western movie you've ever seen. Um, the gun is just, you know, it was indestructible. It was very common to see. It was a great, reliable gun for the Old West. Um, made thousands of them, millions. And then in 1962, I believe it was, Colt decided to improve upon it by putting on adjustable sights. They came up with the Colt New Frontier. It's a, this is a second generation Colt. Um, it's a quality gun, it really is. Um, it just kind of looks funny because of those adjustable sights. You'll see it's got beautiful case coloring. Um, Colt did a beautiful job with their blue and that dark black blue and it's nice and shiny. Um, it was an improvement over the Colt Sing Action Army. Only it never caught on with shooters or collectors because it just doesn't look like the old Colt Single Action Army. Um, those big sights sticking up, it has a different silhouette than the Single Action Army. Um, but if you're into shooting and you like accuracy, um, that old Colt had non-adjustable sights. They were fixed sights. And the guns didn't always shoot to point of impact. So you'd have to hold over or under depending on where the gun shot to. But now with the new Frontier, you can adjust your sights. This model's in 357 Magnum. It can also shoot 38 caliber, 38 special. So you could adjust your sights, whether you're shooting 38 or 357, to the point of impact with the different, with the different rounds. So if you like to hunt with it or target shoot, you can actually adjust your sights so the gun's gonna hit to where you're aiming. Um, in my opinion, this is a huge improvement over Colt Single Action Army. Um, if you're a traditionalist, you won't like those sights. You won't like the look. It, there goes the classic silhouette. It doesn't look like the cowboy gun. But if you're a target shooter or if you, you know, like shooting a single action uh, revolver, you like the feel, you know, how that Colt has that plow handle, uh, plow shape, you know, that plow handle uh, grip, the gun rolls up in your hand under the recoil. It's just the sweetest, the single action uh, trigger pull. Like I said, Colt made a quality gun. Um, they made them both in the second generation and third generation Colts. Um, that new frontier, you can find them. They don't demand the price that the single action army does. So you can get into them a little bit cheaper, and it's not cheap, but you can get into it a little bit cheaper than you can a single action army. Um, like I said, you can get Magnum calibers uh, the 37 Magnum like this one is. Uh, and if you're, if you're into accuracy, you're into shooting that nice long sight radius, uh, we can, you know, we can tune it to shoot where we're going to hit, where we're going to aim. Um, in my opinion, it is an improvement over the, uh, Colt Single Action Army. A lot of people don't like that squared frame. They don't like the big sights. They don't like the big front sight. So they just kind of stay away from it, but it's still a Colt. It's still a great revolver. Um, it's still a lot of fun to shoot. And it's, again, it's another one of my favorite uh, guns. Um, if you're looking to shoot a single action army accurately, maybe look into a new frontier. Um, kind of a fun little gun. See you in the next video.